Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Addie. So today we're going to be discussing Guerlain's Vanillas and particularly from the Arts Matier line. i um, not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but I try, okay? And so the three fragrances that I wanted to discuss are Angelique Noir, Spiritueuse Double Vanille, and Queer Beluga, okay? And so let me know if you guys like uh, these types of videos where I'm comparing things like not a long laundry list, but just a couple of things that are similar. Let me know if you like this type of content. So in I, I dove my head into this niche world in 2021. And one of the things that I came across was this Guerlain um, line. And at the time, it was very hard to get like they did not have these fragrances in the store so I searched up and down back and front for some samples or some decants and I actually got my samples from Etsy from a seller on Etsy I just you know gave them a chance and and so the two samples that I got were SDV which is Spiritueuse Double Vanille I'm probably going to keep saying SDV throughout the rest of the video um and then also I got Angelique Noir. Opened the package. Uh, the first one I sprayed was Angelique Noir. Fell in love instantly. Then after that, I sprayed SDV and I could barely smell it. So uh, I was disappointed at that because I heard so many great things about SDV. And when I got down to it, I could barely smell it. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna come back around. So the next week I sprayed SDV again and now I can smell it. So just a little bit of advice is that SDV is a little lighter than Angelique Noir. So if you go to a Guerlain counter, um, try to smell the lighter one before you smell the stronger one. So try to smell SDV first because it's a little lighter. Okay. Um, and yeah, so once I smelled the SDV, then I fell in love with that one. But when I first smelled the Angelique Noir, I was like, oh, this is the one. Adds a cart and I bought it immediately. Okay. So in 2021, I picked up Angelique Noir and there she is right there. And so uh, the first thing I smelled was that greenness, um, a greenness and vanilla. Okay, so for somebody who doesn't know notes, they wouldn't know, you know, if that's Angelica, they wouldn't know what that is. That's the best description that I could give on it is like you're going to get a blast of greenness and vanilla and sweetness too. And so that's how my bottle looks. And so when I smelled it, I thought green. I thought of holiday season. That's just what it reminded me of. So when I got this personalized, I got the green tassel. And at the time, I don't think they had a green um, plate. So I just got the gold plate and I got the gold uh, piece right here. Okay. So that's how my SDV looks. So it opens up a little spicy to me and then I get like a lot of fruitiness and that's coming from the pear note. And so I believe that the sweetness is coming from the juicy pear and also the vanilla. So like I said before, this is like a special occasion vanilla to me. I just think of green. I think of, I actually think of like Christmas. Um, I just think of the holidays with this fragrance. Oh, and even this was my scent of the day for Christmas. Um, and so, yeah, so I just associate this Angelique Noir like with the holidays. Um, com it's very comforting. It's very cozy. The performance, I would say it's kind of like moderate performance. It's not beast mode and it's also, it's not weak either. So I would say that the performance is a moderate on SDV. Okay. Then 
remember I told you guys that the next week I smelled the STV and I was like whoa okay yes I can smell you now and so then so by that time so 2021 I picked up Angelique Noir and then you know this cost a pretty penny so I didn't get this immediately but you know I put it on my wish list and I picked this up in 2022 and that is Spiritueze Double Vanim or SDV I'm gonna call it and so this one was like nice and and soft and like really a really girly vanilla to me so I went ahead and got the pink tassel the baby pink on that one and also the plate is like a it's not a real leather. I don't know if we're gonna call that pleather, <laughs> but um, it's the matching pink to go with that. And again, on the back it has the the Guerlain B, and then it has my three um, the first three letters of my name right there, Ade, engraved on the back. So SDV is another vanilla and I would say this is a vanilla that has like soft spices, soft spices like incense particularly. Now I like incense in a fragrance but it has to be done right and it has to be really soft. I don't like when it's like the main player and overpowers everything else but I like when it like plays a nice little role in the background. Okay. And I also get some other spices in there. And so in the opening, like I said, I get, and I also get like a touch, like it smells like a little boozy to me, just a little bit. But in the dry down, I get like these resins and I guess that's coming from the benzoin in there. And so, and it's sweet as well, not syrupy sweet, just a little sweetness in here. And this fragrance though, I mostly wear this just in the house and I wear it to bed. I know it's so expensive just to be wearing it in the house, right? But the issue for me is that this one just doesn't last. It doesn't perform well at all. But I mean, it's, it's a really beautiful scent. But is it worth the price? Well, obviously yes because i bought it <laughs> but will i repurchase it i'm not sure so i'm trying to let this sit and macerate maybe the performance will get better with time i'm not sure but for now i've just been really just enjoying it like in the house like as a cuddle scent and so yep yeah. and so that is my stv it's really good but the performance makes me sad okay <laughs> now I know you guys keep hearing me talk about in other videos like I traveled to this country I traveled to this country yes I did and I traveled there a few times and so I'm gonna bring it up again so on my trip to Turkey I got to smell the entire line and this is before they even hit the stores I believe they hit they had a pop-up shop around the US in November of 2022 and um, but before they did that I went on my trip I believe it was June of 2022 and I smelled queer beluga and I was like what in the world I rarely hear anyone talk about this one so this is another vanilla but this one has a suede note in it and I would say the suede smells like a soft pillow like the pillowcase of a pillow it's like soft it's really smooth so um with I will compare it to like liquor right so sometimes you have like a harsh liquor like let's say a Hennessy and then sometimes you have like a smooth liquor like a Patron or what I call it Patroni Tron mm -hmm. yep and so that Patron goes down super smooth. And so I associate that with the suede. And that Hennessy is strong. I mean, it stings, you know, you right there when you take it back. And that is kind of like more harsh like leather. And so the 
queer beluga the suede in there is like super soft it's super smooth you know i could see myself wearing like some nice black leather with a red lip and so that is what this reminded me of like that girl that she's she's hard but she's still feminine and soft you know and so that's why I got red, you know, and I got that red pleather leather <laughs> top to match it. Again, um, the B that comes on there and then with my name on the back right there. And so I just picked this one up in 2023, um, but I've been thinking about it ever since I smelled it. Um, in the airport in Turkey, I was just like, oh my God. At that time, I felt like this is the best one and I can't believe that I don't have it. And so went on the wish list and then they started, Guerlain started with the pop-up shops, right? I think that was like in the fall of 2022. So that's when I really got to get in there and get a sample and put it on my skin and you know have that whole wearing experience because these are expensive so you want to make sure that you know you really like that fragrance before you purchase it and so i went ahead and picked up queer beluga so i got one in 2021 one in 2022 one in 2023 and so i've worn them all and so now i can tell you which ones i like like i can quote unquote rank them right and so coming in at number three for me is going to be stv and it's a really beautiful scent but it's in the third slot because the performance is is trash to me like <laughs> and i just feel like for the price the performance is just so weak so i don't know i might um layer it with molecule 01 um, to see if that helps with the performance but yeah so that's the only reason why this one is in third place not because of the scent profile itself but because of the performance and then with the next two like it was so hard for me like Angelique Noir was my number one and then when I smell Queer Beluga I'm like no that's my number one and so this is why it's good to like test your fragrances and wear them because without the full wearing experience can you really say that's number one um probably yeah but uh so i switched it so many times but after wearing them so many times now i can truly say that queer beluga is my number two and so i forgot to mention that this also goes really powdery too so it's suede it's vanilla and then it has this really powdery um nature to it as well so if you like powdery scents i would say that you may like this one um i could see a person that doesn't like vanilla scents at all i could see you actually liking this one um, and I could see a person that loves leather scents being upset with this because it doesn't pack that punch like leather does. Okay, so um, just because you see the queer in the name and you're thinking that it might be might have like a heavy suede or heavy leather, it does not. Um, but I'm not really a leather person. So anyway, so I really like how the suede is done in this fragrance and so Queer Beluga comes in at number two. And then number one is my first Guerlain purchase uh, from this line and that is Angelique Noir. And I think that I have it in the first place because I love green. I know it sounds crazy but I love like a grassy note. I just like green. Um, fruity florals and yeah so this is that green this is the green that i do like now a lot of people don't like this fragrance because of the greenness so um i would say i would would not recommend you blind buying this fragrance at all because one it's expensive i would rather you go to neiman marcus 
um, and Saks as well. They both have this line now and just go down there and um, get your nose on these fragrances because they're really expensive to blind buy actually. Um, and so this one, I'm just in love with it. And there's, I love the, uh, the vanilla and the pear. Like there's like this juiciness and there's a sweetness. So out of all of these, this one is the sweetest and I do like sweet, you know, in my fragrances. And so this one, it's coming in at number one. It's the winner and that is Angelique Noir. Okay. So that is my take on the three vanillas that are in the Arts La Matie line. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Um, and so thank you all so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments out of these three, which one is your favorite, which one is your number one, number two, number three, or if you don't have these fragrances, which ones would you like to try? Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.